I was probably about nine when I decided that I wanted to fly. I was pretty much tunnel visioned. I love my job. It's been 36 years, I'd love to do it longer, but the circumstances are such that it's kind of time to go. I've been at Alaska Airlines for 38 and a half years, and I think I've enjoyed every day of it. It's a heartfelt uh, thing, you know, because I used to come to work every day with my uniform on, that was my job. It's tough thinking it's getting close to an end. I'm not all that excited about ending this career that I've happily worked for for so long. A flight attendant myself in Saudi Arabia out on the desert. I grew up in a pretty blue collar environment. I'm a great, a great childhood, but I never thought I'd ever fly airplanes for a living. I was gonna go to 65 and uh, this, this COVID thing hit. Never in my lifetime would I ever see anything happen like this. To just have everything shut down mid-March was a shock. I thought, oh, it'll last a couple months, we'll power through, we'll do what we're told, and it doesn't feel like that. It feels like it's gonna be longer. It's just been a disaster for the airline industry. It's so sad. I could never fly at Alaska Airlines if any of my kids were on furlough, like uh, cheating, like I'm taking their job from them. At least if I am on an early retirement, I won't be taking anybody's job, especially my children. I grew up around airplanes. I have obviously my dad and then I have two uncles that are also captains. There are a lot of obviously uncertainties, a lot of stressors having two young kids at home and I'm getting to a point in my life where my decisions and my career isn't just about myself anymore. So I had all these plans in my head, plan A, plan B, plan C. The first one was whether or not I was going to be able to keep my job here or if I was going to be on a furlough list. And that was a very real threat considering when I got hired. The first time I heard about early retirement was through the union. I think it was super innovative. You look at other airlines that are still looking to furlough thousands of pilots, and I think our Alpha did a great job, not only introducing options that were unheard of before, but also working with the company and convincing them that they were viable options. Each of the pilots only has a little mark they can make, but as a unified group through Alpa, we can make a big difference. I couldn't thank Alpa enough for doing what they did for us. They worked their arrears off and they made it happen. It's an awesome feeling knowing that our brothers and sisters on the south end of the seniority list aren't going to get warn letters. They're not going to be furloughed. They're going to keep their jobs. And when they came out with that and it came to fruition, I was just, I was floored. I feel an insane amount of relief. I was always feeling a little bit of tightness in my body. And then when I found out from the letter that we weren't going to be doing furloughs at this time, it was like, a complete relax of my body and my mind and I could start planning my real life again. Because of those sacrifices, myself and many of my other friends are able to keep working, keep their mortgages, keep food on the table, keep their families healthy and happy and it's just an immense amount of gratitude that we have. We're an association of fellow men and women airline pilots and we work together for the benefit of all of us. It's time to pass the torch, to let the younger, newer pilots uh, take our spot and move up the ladder and, and continue increasing in seniority. Everybody wins, and we're all part of that. I am looking forward to retirement. It's been a shock to be thinking about it so soon, but I'm looking forward to traveling. I'm looking forward to doing some of those projects that I put off because I was too busy working, and I look forward to just figuring all that out. I'm just looking to enjoy myself, and it's just time to play. It's, it's time to spend time doing other things. I, I love golfing. I'm going to do some hunting and some fishing and, and traveling in my airplane, camping, and it's what I've been wanting to do for a long time. I'm ready. I am ready. <laughs>